With nine clubs from the region playing national rugby in Scotland, it's time at the end of this year to take stock of how the season has been going for everyone. And we start in the Premiership with Scottish champions Hoyk, who are in pole position to defend their title as they sit on top of the table with 13 wins out of 14, with their top try scorer Andrew Mitchell in fine form this season. Kelso were newly promoted to the Premiership for the first time this century and they've had a brilliant season with tries like this by their new teenage star, Archie Barber. They're on the brink of making the playoffs as they head into the new year. Selkirk have had a mixed season with some good performances including a win at Kelso and running Curry close on the road but some disappointing results have kept them in the bottom half but one of the highlights was this try from Callum Anderson which won the game for them at Pointer Park. Sadly, Jed Forrest have had a disappointing season with no wins at all and they've been relegated to National 1 next season. But here's one of their better moments when young star Mark Glenn scored these tries at Philippa against Selkirk and Riverside Park against Marr, a game that saw them run the then league leaders Marr very close. International 1 and Ayr have been the runaway winners, going through the season this year unbeaten and bagging promotion. For Melrose and Gala, they've had a mixed bag of results with some highs and lows, but Melrose have finished the year in second spot, while Gala have been building for the future, breeding some exciting new players who will benefit from this year's experience and will be among the favourites next season for promotion. National 2 could well see Peebles winning promotion if they keep up their good form. They end the year at the top of the table with some big wins against rivals Falkirk and Lass Wade. But don't rule out Newton Stewart, who could well have a say when they visit Peebles on January the 13th. At the other end of the table, Berwick are in the relegation zone, just above Aberdeen Grammar, and they'll need to get a few good results in 2024 to keep them in that division. Stuart Cameron, ITV News.